Hi, boys and girls. It's time for us to do a practice page in our Your Turn workbook. So please get out your Your Turn workbook and open up. You have to go past the table of contents. Sometimes what I like to do in my workbook, and you can do this for yours as well, is um, I will take all these pages, maybe ask your mom or dad to help you with that, and I just rip them out so that I'm not constantly flipping through those pages. And we're going to do page SS1 together today. So I'm going to take my post-it note off. I like to keep that on my workbook so I always know what page I need to be at. Um, might be a good idea for you to get one of those as well. So let's go ahead and do page SS1 together. So we've been talking about the M sound spelled M and the S sound spelled S. M like in map and S like in sun. So we're going to say each of these pictures and we're going to write either an M or an S below. Let's go. The first picture is a mop. Say mop. Good. Which sound do we hear? Do we hear a M? M or S, S. Very good. Let's write it down. M. The next word is sink. Say sink. Good. What do you hear? M or S, S. Tell me. Good. S, S. Here's a mouse. What do we hear? M. M or S, S. M, mouse, good. How about seven? What do you hear? Seven, good. S, let's try moon, say moon. What do you hear? M, moon. Write your M. Here we have sand. What do you hear? S, that's right. Right, S. Okay, now we're gonna say each picture name, then write M, M below the picture if its name ends like jam. Now we're finding the ending sound. M is at the end. Okay, here we go. Broom. Do you hear m mm at the end of the word? Yes, broom has m at the end. How about hat? Do you hear m mm at the end? Nope, so we won't put anything. How about drum? Do you hear m mm at the end? Yes, you do. Let's put an m. Very good. All right, go ahead and turn the page. We have one more page to do. Today, we're also going to do the ah sound, short A. So again, just like we did before, we're gonna say each picture name, write A below the picture if its name begins with A as in apple, ah, ah, ah. So here we have alligator. Say alligator. Good, do we hear ah? We sure do. How about boat? Does the name begin with a? Ah? Nope, so we'll leave it blank. How about ant? Say ant. Do we hear that sound in the beginning, the a ah sound? Yep, so let's put an a there as well. How about sun? Do you hear a ah in the beginning? Nope, we'll leave it blank. How about Apple, apple, what do you hear? Good, yeah, let's put our ah. How about dog, dog, do you hear ah in the beginning? Nope, then we'll leave it blank. Good, and then now we're going to say the picture name and we're going to write the a or the ah sound to complete the words. Our first picture is of a hat, we have ah. But we're missing something. T. We want to make hat. What will I put here? Good. Ah. Alrighty, now we have a fan. I have f. Missing something. N. What will I put here? 
That's right. Fan. Fan. I'm missing that a. Ah. Excellent job. Okay, now for your independent time work, you are going to take this reader right here, and you're going to very gently, and maybe you need some parent help, you're going to tear it out, fold it in half, and during independent time today, you will read this story three times to a grown-up, to a little brother or sister, maybe to your pet, but you'll read it three times, and then you will also complete page SS5. That's during independent time. Alrighty, thanks.